Hello there, Earthlings. So I told you that I was messing with this idea that you could make a script. And ideally you could make a video. And it has been sort of a mess of a project because I have done this before with different, in different ways. But I sort of gave up on the video part of it. For now I can bring in images of the actors and so forth. But I was making these notes with ChatGPT. Basically, I'm going to link the Reddit article. You can just paste it to ChatGPT and it understands the structure, how the Comfy UI notes are made. But I can canvas show you what's going on here. Basically, um, I have this. It was This was my old Britcom generator. I was making Britcoms with this. But... Um, so I have this first thing that generates a procedural script and then I ask AI, I ask AI to, there's a very particular long prompt. This is a procedurally generated skip, uh, script, it has to be filled in, do not alter, blah 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 blah. And even though I tell it that, the AI still does not do as I want it to. Right now I'm using Nose Hermes, Nose Research. Hermes Mistral 7B Q4. Of course, it would be nice to use a better AI, but uh, my graphics card is bust, so uh, what can you do? But so, okay, this generates a script. So, uh, Comfy UI has this virtual cable. So, I, here you guys can see the script. I can show you guys the script here. I can even uh, open the script uh, where it's pre written here. Uh, it did do a thing, it did not follow the orders literally like uh, the procedural script I can show you guys this is the thing that it filled in but as you guys can see there's a Vulcan in the future planet Vulcan in the future and it's supposed to end here this, these two scenes are only scenes it's supposed to generate but it generated the third one and that's something that they are does say I kind of feel like a human it starts to ramble but the way this whole thing is set up, that I can set up the scenes here, I have like the planets, whatever. And the first one is nar how, uh, narrator lines, there's one narrator lines, there's two actor one lines, two actor two lines. And then there is zero narrator lines, three actor one and one actor two lines. Um, then the era names uh, what these people are like start. <laughs> I made a Starfleet bomb man and um, Uhura communications officer woman. The reason for that is that I made a version of this that generates pictures and combines the pictures with dialogue lines. But anyway, uh, that's sort of slow with my computer right now, so I just made a. This is just the audio version. So then we have this dialogue lines to file, and what this does is it generates the dialogue lines in text as a text file and it gives each text file a number one two three four until the end and the idea here is that comfy UI cannot send multiple files it basically all has to be one shot so this note what it does it creates just text files of the whole script it just turns the script into text files then the next line, what this does, there's actually this status message, this just sends a status message to this one. And that's acts as a trigger, so then we go to the next one. And what this next one does, it reads the text files and uses Microsoft TTS. So basically it sends the uh, text files to Microsoft server and gets back MP3. And uh, because we said here, that Bob is a man and Aura is a woman, it basically then assigns man and a woman to those. And once again, we just have a discourse here. It sends, for some reason, it sends P, but this, this is just a trigger. This triggers this next one here. And the next one, this combines the audio files which have been put to uh, audio output here. So, and I can play you guys this thing. So it's a basically AI just invented a story. So it was told Vulcan, Planet Vulcan, 
future Bob Uhura. And I think the story was a pretty cool that it just pulled out of its head. Um, I'll show you guys the script at the same time as it plays. The year is 3027, and we find ourselves on the planet Vulcan. In the bustling city of Shirkar, the capital of Vulcan, a group of scientists have made an astonishing discovery. They have found evidence of an ancient Vulcan civilization that predates the current one by thousands of years. Astrophysicist Bob, as we excavate the ruins, we've discovered that this civilization was incredibly advanced for its time. Their understanding of quantum mechanics and theoretical physics was beyond anything we've seen before. We're hoping to learn more about their secrets by studying these artifacts. Astrophysicist Bob, one artifact in particular has caught our attention a crystal sphere that appears to be emitting some sort of energy. We're not sure what it does, but it's clearly important. Linguist Uhura, I've been studying the inscriptions on the sphere, and I think I've found the key to unlocking its secrets. It seems that this civilization used a form of language that was based on music and sound vibrations. The inscriptions are actually musical notations. Linguist Uhura, if we can decipher these notations, we may be able to activate the sphere and learn more about this ancient civilization. It's a challenging task, but I'm excited to see what we can discover. Astrophysicist Bob, as we continue our excavation, we've uncovered more artifacts that seem to be related to this musical language. It's clear that music was incredibly important to this civilization. Astrophysicist Bob, we're also noticing some strange patterns in the ruins themselves. The buildings seem to be aligned with stars in a way that we can only describe as astronomically significant. There's definitely something special about this place. Linguist Uhura, I think I'm starting to make progress on deciphering the musical notations. It's a complex system, but I'm seeing some patterns emerge. Maybe if we play these notes in a certain way. Astrophysicist Bob, wait, listen. That crystal sphere is emitting energy again. And it's responding to the music you're playing. Linguist Uhura, yes, I think we've done it. We've activated the sphere using their musical language. Astrophysicist Bob, what does it mean? Can we use this knowledge to unlock more secrets of the universe? So guys, it just filled in. It just filled in. It just filled in. It just filled in the procedural script. It just filled in that. Is that not imagination? I mean, I thought the story was, was pretty damn cool too. Um, but as you guys notice, yes, it takes it takes uh, it takes uh, liberties there. Of course, that's all about that's all about. Um, AI model that you're using. If I was doing this with OpenAI, I think it would adhere to the rules strictly. But because I'm using Mixtral, Mixtral uh, kind of a pretty small four gigabyte model, it it's almost like it has more free will, which is really weird. But having taken more free will, the story actually was better because this was the what it was supposed to do. Bob, 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 Uhura. But instead, it's, instead it did Bob, Bob, Uhura, Bob, Uhura, Bob. So. It took liberties it took liberties on this thing but anyhow so basically i can make these little audio bits as much as i want in any setting as i want but the most insane thing here is that because we are using um comfy ui because we are using comfy ui uh, there are these workflows for this thing that are coming all the time. For example, here is a thing where you can, st if you had a video, you can turn it into a thing like this, and it is just a workflow. It's just a workflow. Um, so this generates that kind of like from a video, it generates that. But okay, like I could make, I could make, and I already have made a version of this that generates pictures. Uh, I can show you guys. I had a
I had another version of this that actually generates pictures. It makes pictures here, automatically generates pictures of the actors. Uh, in this case, it reads uh, because there's also being generated uh, this character description file. And uh, so this reads the character description file, and this actually maps that into up to eight actors, and it uh, describes actor one, actor two, and it gives them. Uh, a picture and I've already been sort of testing where I would have a version of this that at the last node here would actually be the, oh, there would be the trigger the last node and what it would do it would map the pictures to the voice actor so every time there's a in the past example if there was a Hura speaking it would show Hura and if, if it's uh, if there's Bob speaking then it would show Bob and Bob would be basically just made out of the description like there is like okay here is uh, Jim is a rocker man but like when I had in my previous uh, that I just showed you guys Bob was something a bomb a starfleet bomb or something it would probably draw a picture of the starfleet bomb but so okay we could get to this point where we have a video with images of the people and perhaps an image of the narrator and that's just a few steps away it's just gonna be taking longer time for me to generate but what then so we would have the images of the actors and we would have the audio lines of the actors. Now when it comes to video generation, there would be a bunch of different models already. Like uh, one thing I have been thinking about is the background. Uh, the background could be generated from the script when there is uh, the scene is defined. As you guys see here, Vulcan in the future. So this could be the backdrop. And that could be, for example, that could be generated with a video generator. So at that point we are going to have a back, backdrop and we could combine the picture as perhaps a person at the bottom right. And this is something I made already with other like a Python. But basically what we are, we are every day these things are going forward. Like uh, this system is kind of a clunky because it takes, this is, it generates high, high quality pictures, but we are getting better and better systems every day. Like today I, I saw somebody said, there's a new system that made like 100 pictures in a second. So one thing I'm thinking about, okay, now I have the audio file. If I have the audio file, could I have some sort of thing that would in real time generate pictures based on the what is being spoken or by reading the script and could I map these things to each other? So the video generation, long, long video generation, this thing that I already made, if you guys r listened, it made sense. This was a sensible story. This was absolutely sensible story. This ending, even this, uh, this doesn't actually make sense, but, and I don't know why it did that, but that's just AI hallucinating, but this beginning made sense. It absolutely made sense. It was a kind of a cool story. They found this artifact and it actually had, it was a quantum, some sort of a thing and music uh, triggered it. It was a good story. But it just blows me away what Coffee White can do. It is incredible. But yeah, uh, this is what I'm noodling with this morning and uh, I will link to the Reddit post that you can copy and paste to ChatGPT and after that you can ask it to make ConfiUI notes and it absolutely can. I basically did not like when I first got the idea could I do something like this I was like ah, no way no way I just the whole idea made me tired but as soon as I found that post and I posted it to ChatGPT I made my first one my first first note actually was it was just a test note it was a It was just this, I think. Hello world. It was just this, I said, let's make an example note. It made it. And after that, day after day, I started making these little notes. And here we are. Things are escalating. But I hope you guys are well.